If I ask you which country in the world has the least McDonald's, there's probably already a couple of countries that come to mind, even though the leaders from there may look like they like a burger. But on a serious note, how do you define this? Do we look at countries that never had McDonald's? Or maybe more interesting, do we look at countries that have repealed McDonald's? And what's the drama behind that? Let's dive in. There's actually a third way we can look at this, but we'll get to that later. I didn't expect that India would have only so few McDonald's. What I want to talk about right now is how many countries is the McDonald's present. Today you can find McDonald's in 118 countries and territories. In total in the world there's about 215 territories and McDonald's is present in half of them. But that's not the interesting part. The interesting part is where did they leave, right? Well, they left in about nine countries and for very different reasons. The first one is a small little drama because they left in one year already in Barbados. And that's because the local people, they don't really eat beef that much. So it wasn't a success. McDonald's packed their back and they left. Let's have a look at Jamaica. Jamaica is an interesting story because when McDonald's came there economically things weren't as great and people there never really caught on with the taste. On top of that there was a lawsuit. There was a lawsuit with a local restaurant that was called something McDonald's Corporation and they vetoed McDonald's settling on Kingston. Now eventually they did came on the island but after the poor sales they just left. Bermuda is another interesting one. They have a law that prohibits franchises to set food on the island but why were they in the past? Well they were based on on a military basis for the United States. So when that base closed, the McDonald's story was over. Bolivia is an interesting one. McDonald's was quite big there and they left in the height of the inflation. Bolivia also has a socialist regime, so they're probably not the biggest fans to have McDonald's coming back. Anecdotally, they say that McDonald's is trying to get back, but until that's happening, right now there's zero McDonald's there. North Macedonia or Macedonia at the time, officially the story is that they left there because there was a licensing issue, but the real tea is that they had a fallout between the CEO of the Macedonian McDonald's and the corporation in the United States. Nowadays, there's no Macedonian McDonald's anymore. So I wonder at one point if they're gonna solve it and get it back. And then we have the story of Montenegro. There was never a real McDonald's in Montenegro, only a pop-up shop. And that was part of Montenegro when it was still part of Yugoslavia and Serbia. So what happened there? Well. Nobody really knows and they say there's nothing going on but the government even talked to the Daily Mail and made a statement where they said that any company is welcome in Montenegro including McDonald's. I still feel there's more to the story there. Another interesting story is from Iceland. There's two little reasons here. The official reason is of course the credit crisis between 2008 and 2011 but what people say on the street is that there was a local company called Hamburg Bula, <laughs> I'm butchering it. And people disliked it. So when things were getting bad economically, they just started boycotting it. San Marino, a very small country based in Italy. It's such a small nation and people are so connected to Italy. They kind of were like, why would we eat McDonald's if we can eat Italian? So that was the end of one McDonald's in San Marino. And the most recent story is a very interesting one because McDonald's have removed all 850 McDonald's in Russia, but under the condition that they can buy them back in 15 years. So are they really gone? Well, they're gone for now, but I'm sure they'll be back at one point. Now, before we're gonna wrap up, there's that third way that I said we can look at how many McDonald's there are in the countries and decide what is the one with the least. If you look at an overview that you can see on the side here, you can see the McDonald's in certain countries compared to how many population they have. So this I find a very interesting number because what you see is that there's quite a couple of countries that have a McDonald's less than per million. And then you see all these Asian countries that have respectively a McDonald's per one and a half million, per two million, per four million, and even per five and a half million. So that brings us then to two more countries left. And the top two are two interesting countries because both of them have a McDonald's, but they don't really. Uh, Cuba has a McDonald's on Guantanamo Bay, the big prison. So while they have a McDonald's on the island, it's not available to anybody who lives there. And the same kind of applies to our number one, which is Iraq. There's one McDonald's there in a military basis, which is only available to military staff. And I imagine some diplomats and people who have influence. So with that, we can say there's three ways that we can look at which country has the least McDonald's in the world. We can talk about all the countries that don't have McDonald's, the countries where they kind of run away or where they were pushed away, 
Or in my opinion, we can look at how many McDonald's there are per capita in a country where they have settled. And for that one, you can say Vietnam is number one, or I guess you can say Iraq is number one. I'll leave it to you decide. I'll see you guys in the comments. I'm sure you guys are gonna have a lot to say. I didn't expect that India would have only so few McDonald's, one per four and a half million. Don't forget to keep creating adventures and bye bye.